Hi there and welcome to the Kansas City Chiefs News Channel. My name is Richard and I am your host. If you're a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for all the latest news, analysis and discussions. Let's go to the news. The Kansas City Chiefs did not address the running back position in the 2024 NFL Draft, which is notable given their current depth chart. Isaiah Pacheco has proven himself as a starting caliber running back in his first two years, but his physical running style necessitates reliable depth to keep him healthy throughout the season. The depth behind Pacheco is uncertain, and any injury to him could be concerning for the Chiefs. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is slated to be the number two running back. While he provides a stable option, he no longer carries the high expectations that accompanied his first-round draft status. Edwards-Hilaire is a reliable backup, but if he has to start, the Chiefs' running game might suffer. Beyond Edwards-Hilaire, the running back room consists of unproven players. Deneric Prince, a second-year player, showed promise in training camp but spent his rookie season on the practice squad. The Chiefs hope that his familiarity with the system will help him prove himself as an NFL-caliber running back. A wild card in the mix is Louis Rezamet, a former Welsh rugby star who has never played organized football and is part of the NFL's International Player Pathway program. His speed and potential intrigue the Chiefs, but he faces a steep learning curve, making significant contributions from him this season unlikely. The Chiefs also signed undrafted rookies Carson Steele and Imani Bailey, both of whom were successful college players but went undrafted due to concerns during the pre-draft process. There is hope that one of them could emerge as a solid backup, much like Pacheco, who was a late-round pick in 2022 and has since excelled. Free agency offers limited options for the Chiefs. Jarek McKinnon remains available, and while he provided excellent pass protection in Kansas City, his age and injury history are concerns. The Chiefs might consider bringing him back later in the year. The Chiefs need a reliable third down back to fill the pass protection role. Pacheco has improved in this area, but adding to his workload could be risky. Whether through signing McKinnon or another player proving themselves, addressing this need before the season starts is crucial for maintaining a balanced and effective offense. Already take the opportunity to put your opinion in the comments of this video. I'm really enjoying the comments of the last videos. See you soon fans!